One of the first ways that we look at adding CSS styles in Chapter 5 is by removing the link on the text cyanotype impressions and um, replacing, instead of having it as a link, replacing that with just some, some styles that uh, make it appear as, as a headline on the page, um, uh, sort of, something, some kind of mock-up. So I just want to mimic uh, those steps uh, from the chapter. So what you have uh, is a link, and I'm just going to use the sort of dummy link pound sign. Uh, this, this pound sign just gives us a sort of idea that this would be a link to something. Um, and so we, we started with something like this. And what you'll do is you'll just completely delete the link, which means you're going to get rid of the href tag. And you can do that just by deleting the information in the link part of the HTML properties. So I'll press delete on my keypad and I'll click in the design window to see those changes. I can see I have no href tag around Sanotype impressions. Um, and then we select that text again. This time though, instead of using the text as an anchor or as clickable text, um, we will use the CSS uh, properties rather than the HTML properties. And we will um, tell Dreamweaver that this is going to be a new inline style. Um, now inline styles, um, they can be useful. Sometimes you know you just need to add one instance of a style on a page. For the most part, I use styles um, in external style sheets and I think most people kind of prefer to use external style sheets rather than inline styles, but it's good to know how to do it if you need it. So um, I, I selected new inline style from the targeted rule area and then I'm going to press edit rule that brings me into the rule definition dialog box. You'll see a lot of this rule definition dialog box uh, in chapter five and then through all the later chapters as well um, in the VizCom on the webbook. So here you can make whatever choices you want. Um, I just I just chose, uh, this is not the most beautiful typography in the universe, but I just wanted something that would be really obviously different from what I had on the page. So I think I had it set up something like this now I could press, if I wanted to, I could, I'm just going to move this box out of the way, I could press apply and that would allow me to see the text on the page. Of course it's highlighted so I'm not seeing that blue color, um, but that would allow me to see what's, what, what these choices um, would look like and I could make changes here if I wanted to or if I'm happy with uh, my, my rule definition I could press OK um, and then I could see my code now looks exactly the same. I have you know two instances of this inline style happening so I have two sets now of the p tag um, and the style uh, between the p tag and you can see what's happening is we've got the p tag and then we have a span tag span is used just to surround you know one kind of element on the page so I'm, I'm spanning everything in the p tag with this style and the style is going to be that I have a color attribute I have or property rather I have a font size property and I have a font family property um, and then I have, you know, finished all of my all of my style uh, properties and values are in are surrounded by these quotes. Um, that concludes my span tag. And then the word cyanotype impressions is what's being spanned. Um, so then I have the closed span tag and the closed p tag. Um, you could actually consolidate your code here if you wanted to, um, and you could delete the span tag entirely. Let me actually start here and just show it by delete, 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 delete. And I could add this style equals attribute to the p tag. So instead of span style equals, I could say p style equals. And then at the end, I don't need the closed span tag because I've eliminated it. So I would just close the p tag. Um, I get the same results. You can see I have kind of two instances in my code. It's just kind of nice to see that. So you could either have uh, you know p style equals uh, or p, and then I'm sorry, I already did that one <laughs> earlier or the p tag with span style equals and both of them are going to produce the results of having an inline inline style on your page